Can I have your attention, please? I'm going to reconvene this uh, meeting of the North Reading School Committee. We previously convened at 6.30 for an executive session. Uh, the first item on our agenda today is the student report. I'm going to ask Madison Capazuda to deliver that report. Hello. Um, I'm going to start um, with sort of an overview of the week ahead of us at North Reading High School. Uh, this week is Tech Week for the Masters upcoming production of Medea, which will be performed November 4th and 5th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Uh, last week, band received three out of five stars at MICA, which is their annual band competition. Tonight, the Athletic Boosters is hosting Oktoberfest at the Horseshoe Grill from 5 to 9 p.m. to promote all fall athletes and sports. Football won against Georgetown last Friday. Um, Hive, a program we have at the high school which represents helping individuals value everyone, takes place this Wednesday and will be the first of our six meetings that we will have this year. This week is also um, our homecoming week, which is a new series of events that we have in place from the North Reading High School Student Council, which starts today and runs until Friday, October 28th and is in place to support breast cancer awareness, which all of our fall athletics are supporting throughout the month of October. So this week, all of our um, sports games are at home, starting with volleyball tonight, 515, was varsity against Peabody. Tomorrow is girls soccer and field hockey. Field hockey is at 7 p.m. Wednesday is golf and cross country. Thursday, there is a boys soccer soccer game against Linfield at 7 p.m. Admission to this game, you can bring donations to the North Reading Food Pantry in support of the Student Council sponsored food drive, which we have had running throughout this month and will go until November 4th. This week and next are our final weeks for the food drive and we already have approximately 3,500 cans from our Power Block collections and from student reps and parents um, outside of Stop and Shop this past weekend. Our goal by the 4th is 5,000 cans, so we are well on our way there. Hopefully we will be exceeding our goal. Members of Student Council this past Friday, including myself, Kristen Shevlin, Josh and Torcio, Eric Larson, Evan Wade, Carl Lapani, Alex and Emily Bean, and our Student Council advisor, Mrs. St. Arnaud, went to the food drive at Town Hall and helped to organize and count the cans we have collected thus far. And continuing with our homecoming week, on Friday we are dedicating that day to cheerleading and football, starting with our first annual homecoming barbecue from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the high school, which will be catered by the Horseshoe Grill. We have local vendors attending, um, we have a hair salon coming, to put in pink extensions for girls' hair. We have inflatable games, food, DJ, etc. And then directly following that event, we have our home football game at 7 p.m. against Manchester Essex. This game is our senior night for our football players. Uh, the game is in memory of Maria Vela, who is the mother of our senior tackle, Jason Vela. And we have our fall dance scheduled for Friday, November 18th at North Reading High School, the details of which are underway. So then um, for student work, I've brought with me this very simple average binder, but if you'd like to pass this around. I had wanted to bring with me a story that I had just recently passed in for my honors history class about immigration. It was a creative writing assignment uh, that had to include a uh, central character, where they were from, the struggles that they faced either coming through Angel Island or Ellis Island uh, during immigration. But unfortunately, that was not graded in time, so I couldn't bring it with me tonight. So I brought with me instead just some sample of a whole bunch of student work, ranging from notes to worksheets we've done for class and homework. So. Thank you, Madison. Anybody on the committee have any questions of Madison? By the way, this is Madison's first yes. student report, and I think she did an outstanding Thank job. You. Excellent Thank job, you. Madison. Thank students you. are way too, I, I, could, I wouldn't survive in this <laughs> society. The students are way too organized. These binders, and I mean, we had papers all over Are you place. always this organized or just for tonight? No, most of the time. Okay. Right. Most of the time. <laughs> I, I had to do some extra hole punching before I came here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the North Reading colors. Yes. Oh, Very thank good. you. 
Any, any other questions of Madison? Madison, thank you very much. You did a great job. And do thank not you. feel, I know you have homework to do, so you don't oh, have no, to hang good. around. All right? Thanks. <laughs> okay. All right, the next item on our agenda in the, um, at 7.30, we are going to have a pres presentation from the Batchelder community. Uh, but right now at 7 o'clock, Janine Embriano from the Secondary School Building Committee is going to do a 10-minute presentation of the project uh, and bring everybody up to date uh, as to where we are right now. At the conclusion of that presentation, we are going to entertain questions from the audience. Uh, unfortunately, at 7.30, again, we are not unfortunately. For, <laughs> we, we, we need to break at 7.30 to do the presentation from the bat, by, by the Batchelder students. However, anybody that wants to stay, after that presentation, we will uh, entertain additional questions before we move on with the rest of our agenda. So at this time, I'm going to introduce Janine Imbriano. Janine has been the front person uh, for this project. She's a member of the Secondary School Building Committee, and she's done a great job along with Greg Doble and others of putting this presentation together, and this one's been geared strictly towards a school committee meeting. Janine, the floor's yours. School was built in 1963 and it was built for the seventh and eighth grades. It was not built for the sixth grade as well. And today there's currently 662 students, and it does now serve the sixth grade as well as the seventh and eighth grade. Um, there's programmatic needs that are not being met. Um, there's technology courses and AP courses that would like to be held in the uh, high school, but there's not room for it. Um, and 19 out of the 20 rooms that I spoke about earlier that were cut down, their square footage is now <coughs> ranging from 570 square feet to 770 square feet, where the Mass State guidelines um, for a classroom nowadays are between 900 and 950 square feet. So they're severely undersized. Um, the athletic facilities um, are lacking. The school buildings are outdated and inefficient. and um, they're costly to operate and maintain. And there's also uh, multiple code violations. Um, technology has, had, has advanced substantially since the 1950s and the 60s. Steam used to be the state of the art, um, and it's not today. Of course, hot water would be. Um, the MSBA, the Mass Massachusetts School Building Association, and the Secondary School Building Association has partnered together and have come to the determination that the best um, project for the school for North Reading would be the high school middle school combination um, with core shared, fa core shared facilities. Um, here's an oversight or a site plan um, of the project and part of the, th the reason that it's a, a good project would be that there's additional savings resulting from being able to face the project and not have to relocate the students. Um, we can go further into detail about how it, it's all laid out later. Um, and another positive thing, uh, it increases the parking. Currently there's 330 parking spots at the high school and 125 at the middle, and the project will give us um, 635, so it more than doubles the parking. 
Um, the project adds 50,000 more square feet compared to the two existing buildings added together. The gym space is increased by roughly 1,500 square feet, allowing for six teaching areas. The auditorium increases from 440 seats to 600, uh, sorry, 750 seats. And the media library nearly doubles the total of both the high school and middle school library combined um, for a, a combined space of 800 and, uh, sorry, 8,500 um, square feet. And it also saves um, where we have one kitchen servicing both the high school and the middle school versus two, which cuts down on the cost as well. Working with um, the state allows us to truly get two schools for the price of one. design, which means um, they're working on what the building will look like, if there's air conditioning, if there is, where it, um, you know, where it's going to go, um, and all that kind of detail. That should be done and decided by December of this year. Um, once that is done, it goes to the state, and they vote on it, and then at that point, which would be January to mid-February, we would be going to the town asking for um, a vote on the project. Pros for supporting the project. The project cures all of the problems our schools have, including the school 